All right, we got a bunch of steps to make this robot work. Step one is turning on our LS3 Corvette engine. It's a 430 horsepower engine. Next step after that is pressurizing. So what happens is we have a marine transmission that actually shifts our hydraulic pumps into gear to build pressure, building the high pressure. Building pressure. We have built pressure successfully. We are at 4,000 PSI at 140 gallons per minute. That's what the robot can flow. Step, we're gonna stand the robot up and try the punch routine, make sure it still works. Boom, baby! Since we have all you lovely people out here with your cell phones, we're going to punch towards you as our dry punch to see how far this goes. Slow punch looks like, folks. drivers who haven't been uh, quite trained yet. <laughs> we're getting the robot started moving three days ago. We need to do full training. Now we're going to get to the car. What do you guys think? Is that cool? some belts here, get this track working right. Alright you guys, are you ready to see this car get a punch? Punch. So what we're doing is we're handing off control from the driver to the gunner right now.
So once controls hand it off, the gunner can ray, bring it back. All right. Machine moving after punching a 3,000 pound car. Anybody seeing any wiggles here? Doesn't look like it to me. 